okay, let's just keep this this old uh, train. Let's keep this old train rolling along. Now we're now, now we're rolling up. Now we're now we're rolling through Israel. Uh, let's see some of Israel's numbers for yesterday were a little low. Well, they still had 14 views from Israel yesterday. Okay. So what percentage of the people? So right, interesting enough, uh, currently, okay, overall, uh, younger folks make up 58.5 percent of the of the views. Okay, which is sort of interesting. So anyway, let's come back down here. And again, Israel had 14 views yesterday. Eight younger folks, six older folks. Thank you. Thanks so much for the 14 views, Israel. Okay. Thanks for your thanks for your loyalty, also. So now let's run the numbers for Israel. Okay, so Israel currently has am I reading this right? I have trouble with numbers that don't appear to uh nope, that's correct uh Israel has one point three three million. Uh, cases right now, okay? 1.33 million cases. And, and uh, 8,109 deaths. Now you can see that Israel, remember Israel went, was, was very early on, was very aggressive in their vaccination programs. Uh, so anyway, you can see that Israel's cases have more than doubled uh, the 2020 cases. Uh, and you can see the 21, 2020 deaths have passed uh, pretty easily past 2020 COVID-19 deaths in, uh, in Israel. Now we're kind of cruising down here, take a look at these numbers over here. You can see that the, the, the case has actually spiked on January 27th, 11,934 cases. Then you had a slow declining pattern. And in spring and summer, uh, the cases were, were relatively very low, very low. I mean, we're talking uh, low triple digits, low double digits. Uh, before in July, we saw this increase back up here again with a second spike on uh September the 8th at 22,291 cases for a single day. Then you had a spike back over here on October the 2nd. October the 2nd, 3,379 cases for a single day. And an average of 650 cases per day. Let's just take a look at daily deaths now. You can see that Israel's deaths spiked on January 27th at 92 deaths. We're falling down here, spring and summer, all the way up to the middle of July. Single, single deaths, double digit deaths, all the way over to July. Then we saw this increase in July, which spiked on September the 8th at uh, 56 deaths for a single day. with an average deaths per day of three. Now we take a look at weekly cases. Okay. Again, this long declining pattern in the spring, the spring and summer, very low numbers. This line here is uh, 10,000 cases per week. You can see all these numbers down and through here were under 10,000 cases per week. Then we saw the spike back up here beginning in July. Spiked all the way above 60,000 cases before falling all the way back down. So these last three weeks, again, your your cases have been below 10,000 per week here, okay? 
What about your uh, COVID-19 deaths, Israel? Okay, again, long declining pattern here, very low uh, 50 line here, 25. Uh, you know, weeks weeks in the in the in the, in the low to low to mid uh, double digit numbers here. Okay, an increase over four weeks here, then another decline all the way back down to here, and in the previous two weeks were both under 50 deaths per week. Okay. What about the uh, monthly case? So we can see, you know, you had, again, one, two, three, four, five weeks in a row, you had a decline in COVID-19 deaths or cases, okay? But then you had a three-month increase, a big increase here in July and August, uh, but you're not alone in that no, those numbers for that period. And then a fall back down to here. There's a pretty good chance that uh, November could finish below October's cases, okay? What about deaths? Well, what you can see, you had a nice spring one, two, three, four, five, five weeks in a row decline in COVID-19 case deaths, followed by a three-week increase, and now, uh, now uh, October is falling back down again, okay? So anyway, uh, Israel, that concludes your report for today. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you tomorrow with an updated report.